everybody. Welcome back to Saturday night with Reroll. Uh, it's your favorite night. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe it's because of us. I hope it's because of us. But uh, it's Saturday. And Saturday is, on this particular week, is when we play a little wrestling game. Uh, we're back in the Worldwide Wrestling TTRPG. If you're not familiar with that, it is a uh, wrestling, uh, professional wrestling uh, RPG that uh, uses the Powered by the Apocalypse uh, rule set, which, of course, uh, is a 2D6 system, which many great systems use, uh, like Monster of the Week or um, Avatar. Yeah, and lots of other things that I can name. Like surely. masks. Yes, masks, which I ran a whole campaign on. That was fun. Yeah, you did. I, I, and you I, that killed my character. Gerard or did I? Character. I mean, yeah. I mean, you did. Yeah, At well, least one of us is probably dead. Does, Maybe two or, of us, who knows? Yeah. Um, but tonight uh, we are back. Uh, I believe this is episode two, right? Yeah, it's episode two. We've had a uh, yeah. we've, we've had, had a, break. a rough go with it just because of the holidays and and all. Yeah, it's been holidays a you go to Florida and, and family yeah. drama happens. I'm sorry. Holidays and vacations and family and trips of, and broken bones <laughs> and lots and of rest. other stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. I got arrested for cocaine. I got arrested. No, you didn't. It was probably mine, but <laughs> no, I didn't. Hey. Anyway, um, but yeah, uh, this is. I've never uh, been arrested. I've never been arrested. I have. It's a dumb story. I don't. It's fun. Anyway, uh oh, uh oh, Cody's hey. a little criminal. I am a little criminal. It was a I'm stupid. Sorry. Thing. It's fine. I was only in jail for thirty minutes. I was still really scared. <laughs> That's so frightening. It was frightening. They made they took my shoes. <laughs> yeah, they do that. They do do they, they that. They charge you forty dollars uh, for sandals. Oh no! I I mean I was in, I wasn't I was just in like the holding cell. I didn't really actually go to jail. I, they were like, it was dumb. I I I I I paid money and they, I walked home. Uh, I, then I got uh, then I got hamburgers from somewhere. Anyway, um. Yes, this is our campaign, Back Alley Empire, which is uh, the brainchild uh, of Lizzie here. Um, but yeah, uh, we're 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 gonna have a good time tonight. Or without James, who plays Big Top, uh, not feeling the best, but we are adding somebody new in Hero Me, which you have seen them on this channel before. With uh, uh, they've been in Lake Wonder and uh, Purge and Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, thank you for joining us. We're glad to have you in our weird little wrestling game. And uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for having me. It's, yeah, uh, good to be weird in, in an RPG. Yeah, it as is. As opposed to like weird, uh, and not online. Yeah, I mean, I'm also weird not online. Um, I'm just, I'm just a weird guy, uh, in general. It's fine. It's fine. Are you? It's fine. I don't know. Am I? I don't know. Are you? Maybe. I don't know. My, my, probably. Are is you? it is it weird that I um uh I just watch book videos on YouTube? No, that's, that's what I do. That's, that's what I normal. do. That is normal. Um. Uh. Anyway, I'm gonna hand it over to Lizzie. Um. To take us to the game itself because i'm actually not running this game which is surprising so lizzie the show is yours please uh do not let me down all righty so uh quick recap what we saw in episode one uh let me try to remember what happened in episode one but uh let's see i know uh okay we had uh the monster haze came out issued an open challenge. A certain Peter Bosch was pushed out and he held his own. He took Hayes off his feet, but he ate the choke slam and that was the end of the game. So, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, Jack Vegas fought, uh, uh, Bill. 
the Chris original Chapel. back out. Yep, the original back out of the bowler. Bill Bertram. Uh, Bill oh. motherfucking Bertram. Yep. It I'm was a pretty back and forth match, but in the end, Jack decimated him. Then, then we saw a big top take out. Uh, was it uh, Patrick Bachowski? Mm -hmm. Third, fourth generation? Yeah, fourth generation uh, wrestler. The only one that's not but themed in his family. And then the main event, we had a good old fashioned over the top rope battle royal, which was, uh, which saw Peter actually eliminate uh, Jack Vegas. Very and upsetting. he was ultimately eliminated by Big Top, mm -hmm. who was our inaugural, 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 pardon my southern tongue, <laughs> inaugural <laughs> BAE TV champion. Mm -hmm. And we also saw Peter and the uh, the current BAE heavyweight champion align with uh, the current heavyweight champion, uh, Hog Wild, aligned with Peter, who currently has a beef with the anarchist. And then we, uh, so we cut to a week later. The, the broadcast has been down for weeks. Every week you turn it on, you turn the TV on to watch your good old back out of the empire and you get the same thing there is a black flag in the background with a uh, hockey mask and there's a uh, a hockey stick and a kendo stick and on the screen is a there's a guy sitting at a desk he's got like this black suit gold tie it's gold rock this like gold hockey mask that has like these rivets on it almost like gold but brush steel at the same time and he says uh back out of the empire you are not the only empire in this region anymore prepare for an invasion and then it cuts but finally we're back on the air and we uh, hang on. Finally, the show comes back on the air, and you get get the nice, you know, you get the nice intro, and you get welcome everybody. It's been a long few weeks, but uh, I am a uh, just insane here with my uh, here with my partner, whose name I forget. Hang on a second. I should have this together. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. mm, it's been a while. This is... Yeah, I am just insane. I'm sitting here with my partner. Uh... What the fuck is it? With my partner, Milvin Kingsley. Oh. And uh, after some, after some problems, some technical difficulties, we finally have sorted out. We are back with some good old fashioned back alley wrestling. We're going to see a good one tonight, folks. We're going to see Jack Vegas and Anarchist team up against Hog Wild and Peter Bosch. We're going to see Big Top in his first appearance with the TV title. And we have a few more surprises down the line for you. So uh, without further ado, let's get the show rolling. Okay. Hooray. Oh. Hmm? Hooray. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, to start the show, you have, you know, the ring announcer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to welcome to the ring the inaugural BAE TV champion, Big Top. And the music plays, the pyro goes off, the crowd is, like, jeering and booing. I say, too. Yeah. But nobody comes out. It's just empty. Yeah. Then the screen cuts and the big monitor comes on. And you just see a big top surrounded by these, these four figures in the hockey masks carrying these burlap sacks. They've just like beaten him down with these potato sacks. And uh, 
The one you saw on the screen with like the gold hockey mask. He walks up behind the four, picks up the belt, walks off, and uh, oh. then the screen goes to black. Oh no! Well, that's not that's not good. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, Big Top's a big boy. Yeah. Oh no, that's our clown. Okay, so we're gonna so the camera cuts backstage to see, you know, how is uh how are Peter and Jack reacting to this? Um, like, well, what are your thoughts? Jack Vegas is probably he's just like ah well whatever the guy's a weirdo anyway. <laughs> no, but the, that's our cl- that's our cl- he's we have to go get him. To, why do I it? why do I care about a clown? I mean, I work with a bunch of clowns anyway. <laughs> you are a clown. Yeah, I say that to my face. I'm standing right in front of you. Oh, see, we'll just I'm save it for the right ring. In front of you calling save, a clown. save for the ring, Peter. You don't want none of this backstage because I'm I'm liable to hurt you without the ref interfering, you know? Then hurt me. Let's see. Oh, hey. If you're going to hurt me, then hurt me. Sounds... We got to go get the clown. So, I mean, you got a lot of issues to work out here if you really want to be hurt. I, I'm, not, I'm not into to fulfilling some okay. weird fantasies. <laughs> and what would you know about fulfilling fantasies? It's none of your business. Let's see. Sure. This sounds like... Someone sounds like both of you were cutting promos, but... Yeah, that was just kind of like, you know, should probably just showing reactions backstage of people. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and it turns into a, yeah. A little thing. You know, okay, hyping up the uh, match for later. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. I'm going to let one of you roll, uh, roll cut a promo. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'll Which one? Who wants it? Hold on. Let me... <laughs> Oh, you can both do it. I don't. Yeah. Okay. My looks shit. Yeah. That'd be. Yeah. I'll cut a promo. Okay. Go ahead and cut me that promo since this is. You don't want me to roll that. Do you need me to roll? Yeah, it's going to be. Yeah. First. (laughs) Yeah, you can can go ahead and. Yeah, you can go ahead and roll. See what okay. we get out of our first row here. Ooh. Okay, on a seven and nine, you have their attention. Pick one. Make creative, book you in a match, add a stipulation to a relevant match. They come out to respond, but they're already here. So, or you can gain one heat with the subject of your promo. I'll, I'll get it. I'll get a heat, you know, because, uh, mm-hmm. you know, they show Jack Vegas backstage. He, he's got his like, um, He's got a nice suit on, a nice white suit. Uh, he's got his big gold chain, his big uh, crucifix hanging down. Wait, I saw the. Oh, you got a ten. I was looking at the wrong thing, so you get to pick two. Oh, the two. Uh, and it scrolled way up to the top. Yeah, I was oh, looking and at. Then I'll, last then I'll add a stipulation shit. as well. Okay, it's a tag team match, but what kind of stipulation do you want? Um, that Peter. Or you could can't... make it a one on one. That'd be fine too. Well, no, Jack yeah, Vegas is going to have a tag match, but he's going to okay. He, but he's going to make it where Peter can't tag in for the first five minutes. Can't tag in or tag out. Can't, yeah, can't tag out. Yeah, yeah, like oh, that's okay. that's good. Yeah, instant, so instant DQ uh, if you tag. Like. Yeah, and so and so Vegas is going to he's going to he's going to be back. So he's going to he's going to be watching that thing with the big top. He's going to you know Peter's going to get all riled up about some clown. Uh, you know, and Vegas calls over the interviewer, the the lady. He's like, "Come here, baby. Come here. Come, uh, come, come. What was her? Come. What was her name? We gave uh, her Savannah name. Savannah Stanhope. Yeah, Savannah yeah. Stanhope. She's not into you, but yeah, yeah. Come here, come here, babe. Hold that mic real close to me. Uh, yeah, that's uh, good. He's gonna like put okay. his arm around her. Uh, Ew, you know. you're so fucking gross. Yeah, hey, this is this is a family show, Peter. I don't know where if you kiss your mother with that <laughs> mouth, but um, uh, you know, this perhaps you should a family show. Oh, uh, well, you know, it's uh, my mom watches this, you know, she, 
She doesn't like to curse. Yeah, she, good... she had a real number on you last time we were live, and oh, we right. all saw it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, no, Peter, I mean, I mean yeah, Vegas is like, look, I know everyone's crying over that clown, right? It, it, I don't care whether they take out Bootstrap Bill, the Anar. It, it doesn't matter to me who they take out beat up with potato sacks. What matters to me is that the crowd gets to see me because that's what they really want to see. They don't care about the clown. They don't care about you, Peter. They don't care about any of that. What they care about is Jack Vegas. Because Jack Vegas moves the needle. He makes money. His merch sells. All of that leads to Back Alley Empire being at the top of the food chain because that's what we all really want. We want to see this company do well. So you got to back the big boy, which, of course, is me. Uh, but you want to talk a lot, Peter, about, uh, you know, getting hurt. So how about this? How about tonight when we have a little tag team match? You you, you, you tag with whoever the heck you're tagging with. I don't care. I don't pay attention to that. All I care about is what's in front of me, and that's you. And what you're going to do, little boy, is that you're going to be in the ring with me without tagging out for five minutes. And you want to be hurt. Well, guess what? Jack Vegas has a special discount for you on pain. I'm going to give it to you for free. And then he's just going to like, me, oh, you're going to get it. Just wait till the ring. And then he's going to. He's gonna just uh shove past Peter and then walk uh, out. As you're uh yes, yeah, sorry, as you're uh you know, you walk a good bit away, the camera pans and you see you walk right by a certain duo who, you know, sports black and green. Oh one of the generation them, you know, X is here? <laughs> uh I mean, I wish. But you know, one you know, one male, one female. The males, uh, you know, roughly your size, carries a black baseball bat with anarchist written on it in green. Well, anarchy with a K written on it in green. And they're just, and uh, so him and Rebel Rowley are just staring you down like, okay. Yeah, well, that's cool. Yeah, you can look all you want. This suit's very expensive. I can tell you where I got it, but I know you can't afford it. And he walks out. Yeah, well, last I checked, uh, didn't Peter throw you over the top rope last time? You know what? Sometimes even the small people get lucky. Good yeah, things just, happen. Uh, yeah, just uh, do me a yeah, just do me a favor. Don't let them uh, kick your ass again tonight, because I ain't having that loss on my record. You understand you me? You worry about yourself, big boy, and I'll worry <laughs> about me, because I'll be the one who gets that one, two, three tonight, and you and whatever <laughs> her name is. Uh, you just you just leave it to me, and if I need you for whatever reason, I'll let you know. Yeah. If you do need me, you better hope I come. Oh. And then just kind of walks out. Yeah. So what a the what camera a, what pans a back to camera pans back to Peter, and uh, you know you uh you feel the hand on your shoulder, a very big hairy hand. You look up and oh. it's none other than no, no. It's it, I mean, it's Thanks hog. For... It's hog wild. It's you know he's wearing the boar head and he's got his belt on his shoulder. It's like, you know what? Yeah. I think we got this. I think we do. Then it you know, I think about, the, it's about time that I put him in his place. About time somebody did, and uh, well, you know. Uh, I say five, you know, I say you can't tag out for five minutes, but you know what? The ref don't see. It is what it is. Oh. And and then we cut back to the uh to the arena. So well uh, we have an update on uh on Big Top. He is being seen about at the nearest medical facility. No idea who who it is attacking him, so we're just, you know, being on our guard. We are upping security. And, uh, well, hey, you know what they say. The show must go on. And as such, let's get to uh, our first match of the evening. Making their way to the ring. From, er, making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California. Accompanied. 
crap, hang on, I'm trying. <clears throat> Accompanied by Remy Winchester, Colt Winchester of the California Cowboys. And you see this guy come out, he's like, uh, they're this pair of, just this pair of cowboys, you know, they're dressed in, uh, one, uh, Colt is dressed in purple and Remy's dressed in pink. And they've got, oh. like, the, the leather cowboy hats and the black pants and boots with the, you know, pink vest, pink hat, purple vest, mm-hmm. purple hat. And uh, they're coming out. Kind of gay. Yeah, I mean, gay. Yeah, they, yeah, they did the kinda whole gay. thing. Yeah, they did the whole thing for the Pride pay-per-view on a unicorn. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a horse Peter, with the horn glued Peter to Peter got it, passed but... over for that, and he, he felt <laughs> real sad about it. Yeah, that could have been his. <laughs> So yeah, they go to the ring and uh, they uh, you know they do their thing. They're on the rope. They're cheering. Remy gets out. Let's Colt have it. Oh. And uh, introducing his opponent. Hailing, hailing from Ensenada, Baja, California, Mexico. Let me turn that down just a wee bit. Ooh. It, making his, uh, making his return. El Chupacabra. Okay, so what's your, what's your entrance look like? Just tell me what the feel is here, as the crowd is obviously booing you. Because they know who you are, and they know they didn't like you. Actually, walking through the crowd, so just oh yeah, that's... people don't people don't realize what's happening until El Chupacabra is just like shoving them out of the like way. Somebody's talking it's... shit and look around, and there you are. Yeah, <laughs> like boom. Oh, I mean, hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just basically, just like clawing through the crowd. Uh which the crowd's probably just extra pissed about, but yeah. that's that's their that's their problem. Yeah, I mean, who says only baby faces can do it, right? Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you know, just walk through, punch a plant. It's fine. Throw yeah, uh, the- alcohol into a child's face, like MJF. <laughs> God, just yeah. like in real life. Yeah, that's I mean, what happened in real life. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, it was an accident, but okay. So as you make your Actually, way to the ring, uh huh. <laughs> Actually, if if plants are a thing, then sure, why why the hell just not? Punch a plant. Yeah, it's yeah, that could be. Oh a no! Thing. Oh no! No. You're not gonna... uh, I'm I'm taking ideas and synthesizing them. Okay. So at as as El Chupacabra is just about to hop the uh, little uh, waist high uh, fence to get yeah. to the ring proper, spots a kid uh, uh, wearing uh, an El Chupacabra uh, t-shirt. Grabs oh. grabs the kid. Oh, <laughs> pull, pulls the kid over, and then. Pulls out a pair of shot glasses and <laughs> pours uh, some tequila up, and then takes a shot with the kid. <laughs> oh god! That's oh. right. Mm. It's apple juice, kid. Just drink it. <laughs> oh, El Chupacabra! Probably like right, right apple next juice. to the camera too. Right next to the camera. Is tequila. Like, the kids is probably like, you know, apple juice and Sprite in a vodka bottle, but or a tequila bottle, but you know. Oh. <laughs> It's apple juice and Sprite, oh but it's God. in the right, but it's in a bottle. So we signed waivers. It's fine. <laughs> There's paperwork. Do this at home, <laughs> kids. I, don't you mean don't? Yeah, no, <laughs> no, dude, do this at home, kids. Do this at home. Do this at home. Drink alcohol, children. Then Drink alcohol. Like a little, the, a little banner across the screen. <laughs> the views of it just scrolls. Do not. Are, are solely opinion and, and do not reflect the views of Back Alley Empire Wrestling. <laughs> we'll leave the kid the bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
in another banner. We promise it's apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, so you're in the and ring. Then, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're in the ring. You're staring down this guy who puts his purple cowboy hat on the corner post. He's stretching. So, uh, Colt is the technical of the two. Remy is the the high flyer. Remy's outside, but you don't need any help. Okay, so you start with one audience, so that also means you get one momentum that you can use during the match, and that can, you know, you gain more. You can spend it one for one to add to your roles to make them better or spend them on certain moves. Okay, so the bell rings, and uh, you know what? We're gonna say uh, we're gonna say Colt starts off in control. He's gonna you know take a couple swings at you, sort of get the feel of it. And uh, okay, so how do you react to just him just running at you and just taking a just throwing a flurry of punches, trying to throw you off your game? Like rocking up up uh, against the. Uh turnbuckle and just going this this is what you're doing with your life <laughs> all right so how are you okay so you do get a chance to do a move in return if you want and take control so i would like to take like, control okay yeah uh, how do you how do you get control from them do you overpower them you something fancy is it's it's going to be fancy. Uh, one of those wanna... sort of like uh, uh, swim type moves where like just coming in with an overhand, like catch it and then swim around the outside and then uh, and I'll try and suplex them from there, uh, uh, belly to back suplex them from there. But uh, yeah. I guess I'm going to need to. Uh, Roll to see if I actually do that. Yeah, you can roll to see how the uh, how the suplex lands. That's going to be the wrestling move. So you can use a. Uh, let's see. That could be. I want to say that could be either you can roll work or I can you can roll heat with them, because that does that would work either way. Because uh... I would say it's an it would be it's an innovating or an innovative or exciting maneuver, or it's also technique and or it could also uh, it, I mean it could be body too looking at it so it's whichever move you think would best fit what you're going for uh probably probably work it seems like it's yeah. uh, uh, technical work is <laughs> Fuck. Ooh, that's not good uh yeah. so okay, he just yeah. gra he just grabs onto the okay. ropes as I go to suplex him and I'm just eh, eh, it doesn't go anywhere okay so yeah make sure you uh you get momentum for doing that for the botch and uh yeah so he uh so he grabs the rope and you uh you catch an elbow to the face and he's gonna turn around and he's going to uh he's gonna attempt to you know take you down and put you in an arm bar and okay so what's your how do you respond to his attempted counter to that i'm gonna try and roll with it and then uh to roll out of it um and uh eh. yeah yeah I just roll with him uh dragging me down all right let's see Okay, that's better. That's going to be, let's see, Aww. seven or nine. Okay, you can... Uh, oh, actually, add. actually, that's uh, Colt's a uh, baby face, right? Yeah, he's a baby face. So then I would actually... You do have one... I'd have heat for it. Yeah, you do have one heat with him. You can mark that down uh, if you want, but... Oh, never mind. I... I was gonna say that that would get me over the top, but it's or rolling can, heat or work. Or you have two momentum, way. so you can spin one if you uh, want to make that. Yeah, up. let's let's okay. let's make that a ten. Yeah, because uh, you retain control of the match and you get that one momentum back. So oh sweet. <laughs> yeah, so you yeah, so you've got them now. 
it can have. Okay, so, so the roll yeah, so yeah, since the roll we're... works perfectly. You more than made up for that little bit of ring rust there. Uh, and since uh, he was uh, grabbing uh, and trying to uh, torque on my uh, arm, it's only it's it's only fair, which isn't a word that uh, El Chupacabra uh, believes in a whole lot. But yeah. since it is it is fair, just go ahead and grab back onto that wrist, uh, hop onto the ropes, and then moonsault off of it to sort of just twist his arm. Ooh, that sounds cool. But yeah, that's yeah, that ten is good for that. So uh yeah, so he's on the ground. You nail it perfect. As he's sputtering to get up and uh you're you know, you are you're booked to win this match. This is all you, so you can do a few more moves before you, you know, take it home. He'll try to fight back. Yeah, I think uh, since he's uh, on the ground getting up, it's a good time for one of those. Uh, to grab, him, give him a hand, and then whip him into the ropes uh, and just yeah. uh, clothesline him off of it. Oh yeah. All right, give me uh, give me the rest of the move again. That's probably body. All right. Yeah. Oh, oh, I forgot the close line. Okay, yeah. so you can uh, hand control, then gain one momentum, or you can keep control and keep on working them over. Uh, go ahead and uh, I'm going to try and finish them. Okay, so. Let me see. You have... All right. Go ahead and uh, roll for the finish. And that's just flat uh, 2d6. It's a flat no 2d6, yeah. Okay. Let's see what hey. happens. Okay. Uh, okay, so... You know, I'll spend momentum on that to get a 10. Cause... Okay, yeah. Not a 10. Okay, so that's... uh, Yeah, you get your plus one audience and... uh. Yeah, tell him what's your so uh, yeah, describe your finisher. What does putting him down look like? So El Chupacabra it, his finisher is the goat tenderizer, and so <laughs> grabs him uh by the wrist and whips him into the ropes again, and then this time jumps up, puts both legs onto his shoulders, and then flips back into the hurricanana and uh he flips over, slams onto his uh well kind of face kind of. Uh yeah. <laughs> flip him over and then go for the pin. Yes. One, two, three matches of and your winner, El Chupacabra. And as uh, you know, as the crowd boos, your music starts, but then it abruptly, like before it even gets going good, it stops. The lights go out. When they come back on, uh, Remy is gone, Colt is gone, and uh, you are facing down this person in a hockey mask. It's uh, this person is roughly your size. They're wearing a uh, they're wearing black and green with neon green. Their hockey mask is black. They have like a green a neon green biohazard symbol, and they're holding a potato sack. I'm going to give you a split second to react to this motion motion for the kit to come over and a mime like bring the bottle. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. The kid brings you the bottle. I pour, pour a shot, pour a shot uh, onto the kid, take, <laughs> take a shot uh, and then wing the fucking bottle at hockey mask. Okay. Let's see. That sh I'm going to say just, uh, I'm going to roll with the hip here. Roll a plus reel for me. Not quite. <laughs> oh, God, let me see what happens. 
Um, <laughs> the bottle okay, flies so, past and hits the cameraman. Okay, so uh, <laughs> he okay, so he ducks, and uh, you take a potato sack to the face. He he just this person just nails you with it, and then they're gonna like uh you know when you hit the ground you're flat on your back, they're gonna you know they're gonna run run the ropes. Then they're gonna springboard off the moon or rope and hit a frog splash onto you. Mm. And you're just looking up at this person as they raise the potato sack. And they walk away. Then, you know, we're gonna cut to like a commercial break type thing. And uh, when it comes back, you know, you're backstage, probably got an ice pack on your eye. And uh, oh. you know, and uh, Savannah Stanhope is standing next to you. Well, that was uh, one heck of a return. Congratulations on your victory. But uh, what do you make of what ha- what's like what's happening here? What you've come back to? Because this is, yeah, these guys just showed up and try to take over. What's your what's your take on that? You know, we don't have hockey in Canada, in uh, Mexico. It's more of a, it's more of a Canadian thing. But what I, from what I can tell right now, I don't, I don't appreciate hockey. Maybe, maybe if there were more leaping and and fighting in the air. But how do you feel about potatoes? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a fan. They, they taste very earthy, and maybe someone should wash them. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, uh... Hey, Peter, do you want to wash some potatoes? <laughs> do I want to wash potatoes? Yeah, if you'll give me a, a toothbrush, I guess. Oh, oh, that's evil, Peter. Yes, yes. We're going to take them with a toothbrush. Do you have a stack of potatoes for me to wash? Are we making something? I think we can get, I think we can get a sack for you. <laughs> did you, did you get groceries? <laughs> In in a manner of speaking, did is Peter this like not wash the match? Fruit and make me wash the fruit because you didn't want to wash it yourself. Or is this like a? Are you speaking in code? Just imagine like this happened when Peter was like walking by eating a sandwich or something like. What? Yeah, Peter was in catering. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's. There's some hockey players that are kidnapping uh, members of Black Back Alley Empire. That's what's with the hockey players. They they like potatoes, and I think that I think we All can get the band is... back on the road. Oh, and and we can take your advice. We can do your idea. We we take a tooth a toothbrush, and we. Grind it down a little bit. We stab them right in the liver. Oh, in the liver. I don't know if it's that accessible with the toothbrush. It goes good with potatoes, I hear. Liver and potatoes? I mean, yeah, it's okay. Um, If you say it's okay, I can make it great. (laughs) It just takes a little bit of spices. That the online dirt sheets are going to read, is Chupacabra injured or did he go to jail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll never know. Online rumors are circulating already. <laughs> but yes, toothbrush shiv. That's, I like, I like your ideas, Peter. This is, this is why we got along. Okay, so uh, the, uh, the, we have a few more matches throughout the evening. There's a uh, uh, Hayes, like the big seven foot monster in a gas mask. Oh. He uh, he totally 
decimates the New Age Metalheads in a 2-1-1 handicap match. Tornado style, even. It's brutal. He choked chance them both at the same time and basically has one foot on each of them. Something which Peter, you know, knows about all too well. And then after his match, you see, uh, you know, like, what's been happening all night, the lights go out. And this time, when they come back on, Hayes is faced by uh, this this uh, somebody who's about who's pretty much as big as he is, and Hayes is like seven foot something. And you see, this person's hockey mask looks like it's made of caution tape, and uh, they're not even holding a potato sack. They just start like fucking trading blows. And uh, eventually, you see uh, you see this figure in the hockey mask is getting the better of Hayes, and just clotheslines takes him off his feet like he is nothing. Picks him up, puts him on the shoulders, just hits him with a this basically just falls back into a Samoan drop, just takes him out. The uh, the same one that took out Chupacabra is taken out as a. Uh, his manager, who is a uh, doctor miasma, like sort of a smaller person, big wrestler in the in the nineties, wears a plague doctor mask. The uh, yeah, the one that took out uh, Chupacabra is just beating the crap out of Doctor Miasma. What's everybody's reactions to what's going on? Is anybody gonna do anything or react or just say, "Well, that sucks"? Like you know, the full yeah, it's just uh, I mean that's. Plus Jack Vegas is like stance. He's just like his shit. It's not happening to him. Yeah, it's like it's happening in my building, but my apartment's straight, so I don't care. Yeah. That's not great. That's not great. Do they bring anything with them, or is it just? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the one it's them and their. Well, the uh, the little one has potato sacks. The big one, I think the big one has one, but it's like, like uh, over their shoulder or on their belt or something. Yeah, it's, they have a potato sack just hanging off of their belt. Like they don't use it; it's just for show. Their fists uh, are like as big as potatoes, anyway. <laughs> so, you know, this is real dumb. But also, I mean, this is real dumb. So, I mean, Chupacabra is going to run out wrestling, and just trailer. try and steal <laughs> potato sack off of, uh, honestly, oh. whichever one's closer. Steal uh, potato sack? You could put it on uh, me. There's one. See, I think one is on the far side of the ring near the announce table, beating Miasma. And then in the ring, you've got uh, you've got the caution tape person just stomping a mud hole in haze. No. Oh, okay. I'll I'll go help Hayes. Okay. I'll go help Hayes. So let's uh oh. this isn't necessarily Eat a, the hero. Let's see. You know what? Why don't you shut up, Vegas? Good Maybe players. if you did something good for once in your life, people would like you. I do a lot and your mom in my life. Eat you with a spoon. <laughs> she okay, would I'm do gonna, that anyway. Okay, so uh I'm gonna have you both roll uh the one in move, but uh, just roll plus one as plus one heat. I feel like these people would have heat with you anyway because they're coming into your house, picking on your people. All yeah, um, right. So yeah, and we'll f I'll adjust the results accordingly. I suppose I should. Okay. I should have made another uh, category for. Hockey masks. Yeah, that is. It won't. It won't affect the map. Yeah, it's just plus one. Um, do we have a name for them? Uh, right now you just know them as uh the Harbingers of Hardcore. Cool. You don't know their names yet. This is just what they call themselves. Or Dave. Okay, so uh, with that, uh, you'll get 
plus just uh, just one heat. But uh, oh, Trooper Cobra, you managed to run into the ring, and you do get that potato sack off the belt. This person yeah, just, doesn't even see you. Just, just run all the way onto the top, onto the turnbuckle, leap, and it looks like I'm going to be helping out Hayes a whole lot. But no, just grabbing the, just flip in midair, grab potato sack, yank it clean, and then just potatoes. Start just kicking the shit out of the potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay so you've got okay okay so peter let's give me uh give me your your burn in okay okay so you're gonna go try to attack the uh the big one i will yes is what i'm gathering this is mm-hmm. help haze yes okay. so what, what's the what's the scene what's okay, the scene so you've got uh you've got dr miasma is getting just beaten by uh by the one of the black hockey masks with the neon green biohazard symbol. Okay. I think by this point they've got her like they put her on the table. Uh oh. And they're fisting to get on the top rope and uh jump off. As okay. you right now. And uh I think Hayes is uh the other person is uh picking up Hayes to drop him one last time. Okay. Well, I think I trust Hayes to hold his own. Doctor Miasma. Doctor Miasma's was on the table. back in the day, but she's she's probably pushing sixty. She's oh. old. She's old. Old bones. No, and listen, I I trust and I believe women. I'm a feminist, but but she's old. And besides, that's the little one. Yeah, and you have she, a chance she's... against the little one. Hey, maybe. <laughs> hey, don't mind me. The voice, is the, narrative, the voice of the narrative in my head is being real mean today. Wow. <laughs> but get your anxiety pill again, Peter. Peter. <laughs> um, kind of. I'll, I'll go after the one that's got me as on the table, I think. Oh, you're not the old to jump off. Go ahead and run. I'm going to beat him, Dr. <laughs> I have an idea, but... Okay, go Do ahead it. and roll the plus, yep. plus the one heat with the hockey mask person. One heat with the hockey mask. All right. Yeah. You have one heat with all of them, so... One heat with all of them. Okay. So, uh... Hello! Okay, so what I am going right. to say, you, uh... You do, man. Okay, so you were gonna push. Uh, I mean, what you're gonna do? Are you gonna try to push the person <laughs> off the turnbuckle, or so they yeah. don't jump off? Okay, you do that. It works fine. But you, uh, you turn around and you're staring down this like seven foot three, probably four hundred pounds, with the caution tape, hockey mask, and a matching jumpsuit. Potato sack no longer on the belt. Dude, it's Slipknot or something? What's going on? I mean, it's possible. I've gotten inspiration from many places for these people. And uh, I'm going to give you a chance to to react, but uh, hey, before I do that, you're going to find yourself on their shoulders. Like, they're fixing to go for the, for the drop on you. Like, they did mm. haze. But you do have a chance to try to roll the move to, you know, react or get out of it. Mm-hmm. All the while, Chupacabra is like mashing the potatoes over there. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm on weird. their shoulder. <laughs> okay, so. They're, ma- they're making dinner. It's yeah, okay. So Let them cook. You, uh... It's romantic. Yeah, it's romantic. Fine. Yeah, it's a dinner. Are we all? Are we all? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so um, what would you like to do before we see how I the would, job goes? Um, uh, I'd like to try to pull him down. Just like pull him down. I don't okay. know. 
It's not going to go okay, well. You're trying to use I the momentum like... to. You're trying to use yeah, the momentum just... to bring. Yeah. And not. Yeah. Yeah, and not hurt you so much. Okay. Yeah. Turning into like a. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's yeah. Kind of like a crucifix pen, but. Ooh. That was yeah. a crucifix pen. Yeah, trying to like put yourself to the middle of their back and then pull, pull them down. Give me a yes. wrestling move. You can use whichever stat you want to for this. I would love to use work. Yeah. I probably recommend that you do. I'm so glad I used work. It's a good choice. Okay, it's yeah. Real so, good choice. Uh, okay, so we're not really doing matches thing here, but okay, so uh yeah, I just say you can uh <sighs> probably want to keep control of them here yes i would love to i i imagine okay so what do you do is they fall down you're able to get out from under them it worked seamlessly mm -hmm. and uh yeah i don't know i don't record, even know what's uh, happening. the other one went through the like uh miasma happened to move as you pushed them through the announce table um and now and now on the side miasma has a kendo stick and is beating the you know, running off the other one. Okay. <laughs> Chased him off with the kendo stick. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> Picture's clear. I would like to rush him. Just rush okay. him. Yeah. He's I want to uh, wanna rush him toward El Chupacabra. Okay. Yes. Sort of make, that, that's your business now. You have to take care of him. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Okay, so you kind of, yeah. Okay, so you've got a motion towards our chupacabra, and you mm -hmm. get the hell out of dodge. I didn't say it was like, leaving. Like, well, leaving the immediate area, going to ringside at best. At worst, you're back in catering. <laughs> but okay, that's a good. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll bolt. Okay. I think that's funny. I mean, that's the option. So, yeah, you look up um, a chupacabra. Peter was gone, and there was a giant caution tape clad monster running at you. Uh, and you just smashed all their potatoes. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> and they were going to eat those for dinner. Uh, Going to try the... Uh, dropping and sweeping as he's rushing towards me okay with yeah, the I, with the hope being that he face plants into the uh, potatoes okay uh give me a wrestling move for that with your move of your stat of choice you're like work oh, yeah. <laughs> oh okay Ooh, that is perfect. Yeah. <laughs> work it Eat the potatoes. You brought them, yeah, Canadian. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, you, uh, you definitely, you, uh, yeah, you, yeah, you lay them out, and uh, let's say uh, the lights are off again. They come back on. You're in the ring by yourself. The uh, the monitor comes back on again, and you see the same, you know, figure in the gold riveted hockey mask. So, the potatoes still there? Yeah, the potatoes still there with the hockey mask imprint even in them. <laughs> like uh El Shukabra grabs just like, like uh, a handful of mashed potatoes and just wings them right at the monitor. Yeah, so it hits the monitor and the, the person is talking like this is not over. You may be holding your own against the harbingers of hardcore. You may have run off havoc. You may have made mayhem eat potatoes. But there are more of us. And in the end, the harbingers of hardcore... You look stupid with that mashed potato beard. And then it's just dripping down the monitor. And it, it actually does look just like, for a second, look like he has a mashed potato beard. Oh, this that's is good. why. This is precisely why this empire is going to fall. Then the screen fuzzes out. And it's like you hear the announcement, it's like, 
where has security been during all of this? What is going on? But no matter, we still have our big main event ahead of us. We will have, we, we are about to see Jack Vegas and the Anarchist go head to head with Peter Bosch and our current champion, Hog Wild. And uh, it's going to be a match you're not going to want to miss. And, uh, with that, we still, uh, you know, we cut, we still see El Chupacabra in the ring. Clean it, there, uh, people look at like the refs are coming, cleaning up the potatoes and getting the ring set. And, uh, so before we get to this main event, is there anything anybody would like to do or address before we cut? Did embarrassing the crap out of Havoc count? as domination i would almost say yeah is that was you yeah it stole his potatoes so dramatically the and potatoes, then I made it that them. was yeah like i would say that counts as domination and at one point the crowd was like confused as to whether or not to cheer for you <laughs> the, the crowd's applauding but like uh, yeah they, they Ooh, feel guilty about uh, it yay I think I don't know. Am I supposed to yay? <laughs> they're they're not sure if they like me or not. And then I yeah. resume encouraging uh, a child drinking, and they're like, "Oh, we, oh, we 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 we, we uh, boo now." Boo. <laughs> Go some <somewhere>, yay to yay. <laughs> so we're about ready to have Jack Vegas beat up. Peter for five whole minutes. Yeah. Jokes on you. Maybe that's what he wants. But it is what he wants. The freak. The freak. Right. Okay, so no boobs, no flat for... yeah. Okay. Now, okay, it's time for you guys our main event. Of that. Uh, oh, I dropped my dice, but I'm not rolling. Okay, so I just. Intro... Hmm. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, well, it is time for our main event, which is a tag team match where uh, Peter will not be allowed to tag Hog Wild for five whole minutes. Right. I got you for five uh, minutes of playtime. Yeah. You could have me for more if you wanted. Oh, I was Whoa. just making a Spider-Man joke, okay? <laughs> What's Spider-Man? <laughs> hey, Spider-Man exists in the universe. Yeah. No, I know. Peter's never scared. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the following is our main event, and it is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. And if uh, Peter tags out within the first five minutes, it will be an instant disqualification. Introducing first, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, is Jack Vegas. All right, what's your what's your interest look like? How are you rolling into this thing? I think Jack Vegas, um, he's going for uh, the trunks tonight. Typically, he's got the long tights uh, with the tiger striped pattern. Uh, but tonight, tonight he's opting for the same pattern, but in his trunks, his his little underwear. He's got the gams out tonight on like, display. Like um, tidy trunks or trunks? Oh trunks? yeah, no, no, tiny, you know, like fucking, you know, just trunks. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um. So, you, you know, like, so, uh, this teenager, like, leans over to his booty in the front row and goes, I can see his whole penis. <laughs> kind of uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying. Um, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to kill you. How dare that, you talk about my character's penis? That, hap that happened at a show one time for real, so. Oh, I dude, that. you can. You, I some, was the some... one who leaned over and whispered that, so. Sometimes you can better. see all these oh, like wrestlers fucking you junk all the time. Everything. Yeah, it's like dudes' ass cheeks hang out all the time. It's like <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah are you carrying no, I mean, anything with you to the ring, or is it just 
Just oh, no, 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 Jack Vegas doesn't do that. You don't that. carry weapons there. No, yeah. he, you know, he's got, he's got his trunks on. They're a little high waist, a little old school tiger stripe pattern. He's got the knee pads, the black, uh, boots with the rhinestone JV on the side. Uh, he's coming out with his, um, uh, his, his nice leather jacket. Uh, he's like pointing at the crowd, pointing at the ladies of the crowd. Uh, he's got his, uh, his expensive aviators on and he's just coming down oh God, to the, this guy is such a douche. he's just coming down to the ring, uh, hair slicked back. Just, it, it's just jet black hair, just slick back, oily. Uh, and you know, he just walks down to the ring kind of like looking at people wanting to like give him high fives and he's just like, no. Uh, and he knocks, uh, you know, a, a kid has his like, uh, it's it's a plant, it's a plant, right? You know, but like yeah, some some guy has plant. his like phone, like taking a video, Jack Vegas just knocks it down. It's like that kind of shit costs you money if you want to get it a video of me. And then he walks to the ring, slides in, it just kind of leads against the turnbuckles and just. Uh and he's and he and he's and he just looks at Sam's like five minutes. Did you whack your hand? Yeah, he, no, he didn't. He looked at his hand and he like oh, okay, oh. he looked at it. Okay, I, yeah, and he's like, Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, he's like, this is what I'm gonna do to you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm done flirting yeah. with you. Oh my That's god! That's right. It's about to get explicit hand. on Back Alley Empire, baby. It's Cinemax at night. No. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's his entrance. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo. And his tag team partner, accompanied by a rebel rally, it's the anarchist. You see like the these green strobe lights start flashing and you see like fog machines go off and the crowd is jeering. But nobody comes out. Oh. Just nothing. Yeah, yeah. Vegas is just like looking, he's looking around, he's like, like come on, what what is this? He's like, he's like, what is this? Where is he? Looks around, they like, wait a minute. It's like uh Anarch is more like the coward. Okay. And then, uh, that wasn't even clear. oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, okay, so, uh, and, uh, and there, and his opponents introducing first. So Vegas, like, I gotta beat him in five minutes now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, and, uh, and their opponents. Okay, so, uh, Peter, do you want to come out by yourself or do you want to come out with? Well, your Peter partner? came out a long time ago. Peter came out. First of all, Peter came out a long time ago. Do you want to walk to the ring? Do you want to walk to the ring with? Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have Peter just walk out by himself. No music. Peter doesn't have music. Peter doesn't have music. Yeah. So, uh, your what's your entrance look like? There's no, there's no music. Might be a little bit of fog left over from the last entrance, but yeah. Yeah, the crowd is cheering for you. They're patting you on the back. You're, you know, they have Aww. faith in you. Thank you. It's really it's nice. Hold- that there's a little kid holding a sign that says you're a winner in my book. Thank you. <laughs> I really but like that. For some reason that the kids love you, but you know. I think it's great. Yeah. I tied his head, and I keep going. I'm head down to the ring, and I wait for hug. Okay, so yeah, so you're staring. You and Jack are staring each other down, and and his tag team partner, coming from Party City, USA, is your current Back Alley Empire Heavyweight Champion, Hog Wild. The crowd is like cheering, going crazy, just having a, just, you know, tripping over themselves, having a ball. And, uh, 
There's nobody. Nothing. Oh, all right. I mean, uh -oh. Jack Vegas is happy about this. Oh, thank God. He's oh, like, oh. No. <laughs> We have and, to go uh, figure out what happened to them. And you well, know, the referee's gonna look. We don't. The referee's gonna we look around. Know. He's gonna look to the announcers, look to the, the ring guy. He's gonna ring the but bell. They, they got, they got, they got. No, I got you for five you. minutes, Peter. And uh, this, so, uh, yeah, the. Uh, Why are you one with Griffin? Okay, the bell rings. So, uh, let's see. Who wants uh -huh. to start with control? So, I'm gonna let you fight a little bit. Uh, Jack and Howard. Oh, okay. yep. Jack, Jack always has control. All right, time time for this weird match to happen. Weird Let's, match. Oh see. yeah. Find a good What's weird thing. about it? It's just wrestling. It's just 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 two men in a in a ring together. That's all. It's just wrestling. It's only uh, weird because you're making it weird because you're homophobic, Jack. Whoa, why are you in my head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, look. Why am I in your head? This is your internal monologue. I'm not saying anything <laughs> yeah. with my mouth. Yeah, Jack Vegas is not having this right now. Um, so Jack is just gonna he's just gonna like he's gonna just take off his jacket and kind of like toss it out. Well, he's gonna actually hand it to the ring announce. He's just like, take good care of this, not a smudge of dirt. That's expensive. It's custom. Bring it now. She's uh, gonna take it and just throw it across an empty chair. Uh, well, at least it's not on the ground. Um, <laughs> hey, can I have that jacket? Fuck no. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> I wasn't asking you. Oh. Jacket versus. Uh, uh, jacket so Jack versus is gonna match. just. Yeah, jacket versus career. Uh, <clears throat> so Jack is going no, to like. Not really. gonna just. He's gonna like methodically just circle around Peter's like. Well, looky, looky, you know, look, the anarchist, no show. He's a he's a coward. But the hog wild, the champion of the company, Psh, not a good look. Looks like it's just me and you, Heaty boy. Hey, have you been blind to what's been going on? People have been disappearing left and right. Yeah, well, I'm still here, right? They can't touch a guy like me. Uh, so we are they still... They can't touch a guy like you because you're a coward. What did you just say to me, Peter? You haven't he's gonna, a single He's going to slap Peter across the face. Oh. That's simply what he's going to do. Yeah. Ow. He's going to... Ah! <laughs> uh, what do you want me to... Uh, he's going to... I'm going to work real stiff here. Okay, let's see. That is a move. Oh, okay, yeah, roll, uh... Hurt me? Roll plus oh, roll. yeah. He slapped, yeah, he slapped. He's going to slap the taste right out of your mouth. Okay. But in his head, you know, well, you know, there's, there's stuff going uh, yeah, on. Let's see, yeah, let's see what, uh, what the roll says. The roll says it is, okay. So, uh, pick one. Uh, what a, what a, yes, see. you injure your opponent. The match is booked to end in a no contest. Your opponent loses one audience as you break the illusion of their toughness, or you gain one audience as they can see you're a legit badass. Yeah, that's what that's what he wants. Okay, he so wants the audience to see audience. him as this like badass. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Because he you beat all are Peter Bosch. Track of your audience, but yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, what are you gonna do from there? Because I'm gonna say you keep control with that. Uh, then uh, Vegas is going to. Yeah, he's gonna just. Bam! And then he's not going to give Peter a chance to, uh, like, recover, right? He's going to, Peter's reeling from that. And so Jack is going to just, like, bully him into the corner and just, and just start, like, you know, just throwing forearms into his face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. And he's going to, of course, you know, for some, look, I don't know how this, I don't know what happened during character creation because, Jack Vegas, from the, his inception in 2004, right, has been a technical fucking... He's, like, I modeled him after, like, Brett fucking Hart, okay? <laughs> and his body, his athletic feet, his wrestling is a negative two. What happened? I don't know. I don't know either. I blame you, Lizzie. It's your fault. 
I, it's the vibe he gave me. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so I guess back alley empire, Jack Vegas, where, you know, he's more of a Stan Hansen type guy, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's what he's going to do. He's going to work real stiff. He's just going to just throw these forearms and bam, bam, right into Peter. So I'm going to work. Right, gonna, it's going to be another reel. Oh, that's bad. I guess I'll mark okay, a momentum so, here. Uh, okay, so, uh, so cool. yeah, uh, you. Oh, I got two momentum. Have to, I can... Do you want to? The no, I'm gonna let Pe I'm gonna let Peter have his little moment. So let, I'll add a momentum. Let me look at something. So does first, momentum uh, carry over from session to session? Uh, I yeah, it does till it resets. I haven't done a reset yet. Okay, cool. Okay, so I then I got three going. momentum. Woo. Yeah, let me see. What was were you doing? Oh, I was just, I was just, you oh, know, yeah. wrestlers, okay, they like so, exchange uh, forearms. You taking, no, you were you working injury. real stiff? Yeah, I was yeah. working real stiff. So, yeah, you mark an injury. You hurt You hurt yourself. I'm trying yeah. to find something right quick. Mark an injury. Neat, neat, neat. Where do I mark an injury at? Like the very bottom of the character sheet. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. I have marked an injury. You would. I uh, yeah, I would. It's how do you injure yourself? How did you injure yourself? I well, I mean, how would so I botched how how would Jack uh, Vegas come and let's see with, if it was an elbow, maybe uh let's see if it was elbow. Peter ducked and he hit, hit the turnbuckle and you hit the yeah, you could have hit the metal post. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, ah, ooh. He's like he's like, ah, damn it. Dang it, where? Hang on, I'm trying to find something here. And the freaking index didn't help, so I'm trying to no. search. I hate that. When you have to like scramble to search or something. Yeah, there is it no. Is... Uh, let's okay, see. so, uh, you know, yeah, okay, so hard move. This seems like a good a good time. Oh, here it is. Uh, okay. What's okay? So what's gonna happen? Uh, you, Jack, you hurt your elbow. Peter, I'm gonna give you control. Yay! You are. You can capitalize on this. So, okay. Yeah, what, let me figure out what I want to do. Da, da, da. All right. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's good. Uh, okay. Could I... Can I grab him around the middle and like push him to the ground or like can I grab him around the middle and push him to the ground? Yeah. Okay. Wrestle yeah, him down. Works. I want to wrestle him down. Yeah, that's a that's a wrestling move. Yeah, that's right. Cool. I would love I would love to wrestle him down. Yeah. I bet you would, but it's not that type of party. I mean, it is famously that kind of party. Yeah, pretty, pretty famously. <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> Well, it sounds like yeah. that's a body roll. Oh, why would I be a body roll? It's athletic feet. So oh no, wrestling. Oh yeah, never mind. I'm dumb. Leave me alone. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay, you keep their attention. Do you want to hand control over and get momentum, or do you want to keep control of the match and keep working them? Um, I would love to. Hold on, let me. Huh. Let me or retain control. I. What can I do with momentum? Let me see. You can use it to make your rolls better, or you can use it on certain moves. 
Might have to reset. What? I, mean, I had three momentum. Now I have zero. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. Because you have to. Uh, I know that I had multiple, but then I spent it all at the end so that I could do something. Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't have it spent mine. I would like to. Oh, that's why. Um, I th I think I'll hand control over. All right, so you get one momentum, and uh, Jack, you uh, you're on the ground. How do you come back from this? Uh, Jack doesn't isn't typically on the ground like this. He doesn't like finding himself uh being on the bottom. Uh, yeah, he does not like that. <laughs> um. Jack, he's going to uh shit. It's not gonna be a great role just because of my shitty uh stat uh distribution. Uh, 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 I'm dying. Um Jack is going to try to slip out from underneath uh old Peter here, and then he's gonna put him in a fucking headlock. And uh, to add insult to injury, he's gonna give him a fucking noogie. Oh hell yeah! If you're gonna noogie uh, me, yeah, just like a high school bully. Uh, I'll, so I'll be rest at work here, so I'll I'll roll that. See, see what I told you? It's bad. Okay, so uh, um, that's the rest of the move. So uh, oh, I got lots of momentum now. Do you I, have? Five. Not enough. No. <laughs> okay, so uh, Peter, how do you counter the noogie? How do I counter the noogie? Yep, you can bite the him. Noogie. How do you, you yeah. bite him? Are you allowed to bite? Uh, the referee's <laughs> going to get onto you, but they're not going to disqualify you for the first bite. I'm not going to bite him. You're going to get past oh. that. You can elbow him in the ribs. Mm -hmm. Don't kick him in the nose. That's the disqualification. Yeah, yeah you can't does do he that. put me in the headlock before he noogies me? Yeah, he that yeah he gets yeah. in the headlock and he's gonna go for the he's going for the noogie right now. Okay, I'm just gonna throw all of my weight into the headlock to break it. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so you're both down and Peter, it's your it's your fight. All right, just gonna wrestle him down again. All oh. right, let's see what that looks like. Give me a all wrestling right. roll. Done it. Oh. Done again. Okay. okay. This time I'll retain control. All right. Let's see how oh. this goes. And uh, it's part of that hard move that I made against Jack with the injured elbow. Yeah. Yeah, Jack, you're actually put to lose this time. Oh, that's that's the hard move. Steal the victory. Boo! <laughs> 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 it may not work out that way, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm telling you now because it's part of that, uh, you know, for the when the jobber is rarely booked to win, you get to pick a finisher from another playbook. So I'm giving you time to do your research. <laughs> For me? Uh, Arby. Oh, I don't know about that. So, How dare right. you ask me to do research? While you keep, yeah, while you keep fighting. Um, so I've wrestled him down again. Yeah. I am going to while he's on the ground i'm gonna hook one arm under his leg mm -hmm. uh and then just like kind of press it into his chest mm -hmm. uh and just sort of like try to just try to press him into the ground more like that just try to make it harder for him to get out okay you're trying to are you going for the pin right now i i might be I don't know. It's not it's not a great pin, See, it's, uh, but it's not supposed to be. I'm not a flashy guy. I'm not. Okay. That's not for the victory. Give me uh give me the wrestling move to see how this how this goes. Okay. Yeah. Well, wow. Okay, so uh successes. Okay, so choose whether you hand control or gain a momentum or regain control. But either way, Jack, you're getting your shoulder up. You're good. 
Yeah, yeah, Jack is gonna get his shoulder up. He, but he's like it's a it's a nine. So let's say like a little bit after two. Yeah. Like the ref barely said two and your arm shoots up like hell no. no not yet. I'm not not, not that gonna lose to this weasel. Okay. I think uh I think I'll retain control. Because if Jack gets his shoulder up after two, I've still got my leg under there. Put my yeah. other arm under, lift up, stand. Okay. That yeah. Sounds cool. I've got him. What do you? What do you? Holding you him like a big old baby. <laughs> what are you gonna do? With Is him? it like a submission type thing, or are you gonna drop him? Or I'm gonna I'm gonna drop him eventually. All right, that's uh, showcasing a little bit of strength here. So I'm going to need you to wrestling move with body. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You're showing off a little bit of... Nope. Um, mm. So on a botch. Um, on a botch. Okay, so Jack, how do you counter? So you're like holding him like a fucking baby? <laughs> and, he, and he almost drops you. Yeah, so he, he's he about to drop you. How do you... So, um... <laughs> Jack is going to like roll with it and like what he's going to do is you know like Peter I guess he's has, has him like a baby but Jack is going to like grab Peter up like around his neck and like as Peter like starts dropping like fumbling Jack Jack is going to roll with the momentum and like flip Peter over onto his back onto the ground uh and uh that that's just what he's gonna do for now and then if he gets control uh well that yeah that's what he does and now now that he has peter on the ground uh jack is going to uh he, he you know he's he's getting serious he doesn't like that peter is is showing some real heart some real some real like you know some real balls this is a surprisingly technical match, folks. Peter Bosch is showing quite some prowess here and holding his own against none other than Jack Vegas. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that's gonna Let's change. see if he can keep it up. Uh, because because Jack is going to just uh do away with you know the technical master. You know, he's just gonna go straight up to beat the shit out of Peter. So he's gonna... this kid hasn't had a win. This kid hasn't had a pinfall victory in about two years now. <laughs> And, or a submission for that matter. Uh, Jack is going to stand up and then he's just going to just come down quickly, just drop an elbow onto Peter's chest. Okay, that's either wrestle or work stiff. Work stiff. Okay. Oh, boo! <laughs> um, you hurt yourself again. I j you Can know, I just throw out of the way? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Snake eyes. Dear yes. Lord. Right, right on his injured elbow. Oh. Yeah. That's... Okay. Oh, you got an idea? I do have an idea. Okay, it's uh yeah, it's it's your match. Okay. I'd like to um And the hard grab... part, Jack, you're gonna lose one audience. Oh, oh yeah, what? that 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 guy I think he's just like, oh, I used to be a big Jack Vegas fan, but now I'm not. He's gonna burn his phone. You see this guy have like a Derna, he had a Jack Vegas shirt on, and he just takes it off and throws it over the barricade. He's just sitting there shirtless like this. Yeah, Jack, Jack sees it, and a uh, single tear drops. He throws it onto Jack's jacket. Oh, Ooh, no. it's all sweaty and like, you know. Yeah. Oh. Um, I would like to uh, grab Jack by the ankles uh, mm -hmm. and sort of like roll him. Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's a wrestling move that you use yeah. when you're trying to pin. It's a. Yeah. I've yeah. watched people wrestle at the I'm... collegiate level. Okay, this is the this is the big thing. I'm gonna need you to uh, go ahead and uh, roll the finish. Roll the finish. That's a flat two d six, and <sighs> if you don't have yeah. one pit, we'll just do a random one, or I'll okay. find one that looks like it works. Roll the finish. Yeah, it's two d six, and I'm gonna. I think I have. There's an no idea modifier. Huh? There's, There's no, no modifier. modifier. It's flat. Okay. Okay. okay uh, 
What do you think about the technicians? The technicians finisher. Technicians finisher. Yeah. Roll two d six. Let me see what you what you got. I rolled a seven. Okay, so seven and nine. They make you work for it. Choose one. You have to slap a real submission hold on them. Gain two more momentum. Or they no sell your finish and you have to do it again and you gain one heat. Either way, you get the win. Yeah. What you, what's it going to be? Huh? So, like, it, it's, it's like he'd kick out and you'd have to put a, a real submission on him. What would that mean? Uh, it basically means you've got to put him in like a headlock, a choke hold, mm. ankle lock, arm bar, sharpshooter, arm bar. What, what kind of chokes are allowed? Well, I mean, there's all sorts of th different chokes, like sleeper hold, just like <laughs> rear naked choke. Uh, oh, Nelson. Paul Nelson. No, oh, yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Oh, you mean the one that isn't allowed in my wheelchairs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one. The dreaded full nails. Put him in the master lock. Yeah. I was rereading the um the collegiate wrestling rule book the other day. Don't don't look at me. That's um fine. Yeah, hey, I, it's a it's a start. I know all about it. I heard about yeah, it. It's... <laughs> Because my friends are collegiate wrestlers. It's important to me. Yeah. Um, hmm. What happens if you get more than four heat with somebody? Uh, you get plus uh, one audience? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you gain, yeah, you gain an audience. Cool. Um... What's your audience sitting at now? That's a plus one. You're supposed to reset every episode, right? I, every, well, uh, I think it's like every, uh, uh, every story arc. This is still oh. going. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Then I'm at plus two. Okay. Um. Let's go. Let's slap a submission, real submission hold on them. Oh. All right. What's that look like? Gonna put them in a choke. Okay. I'm picturing yeah. the full Nelson, but that's just. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna full Nelson him. Cool. Gonna. Uh, yeah. Well, okay. I mean... So I'm gonna give Jack the option. You know, you can take the. Uh... Well, I wouldn't say. <laughs> The tough guy route. You don't have to tap out. You can pass out if you want to. Um, no, Jack is. Or you Jack can is... this. I'm tapping. <laughs> yeah, so Jack is gonna. Yeah, Jack is gonna embarrass himself. He's gonna tap out. Oh. Right. He's gonna and, be like ah. And your winner. It's Peter Bosch. And what? uh. There's no music, but the crowd is like going wild. Yeah, he fucking broke his and, uh, losing streak. Yeah. And then, you know, as uh, Peter's celebrating and Jack is getting up, you, uh, you, you look, and on each corner of the apron is a different person in a hockey mask. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. What's Jack is standing at the... Uh, and standing at the top of the ramp is the one in gold holding a microphone. It's like, I told you this wasn't over. You're standing tall for now. But when it's over with, this uh, this is going to be run by the, uh, the Neo Hardcore Wrestling Corporation. It goes, uh, Harbingers? Get him. Oh no. What do you two do? Yep. You're holding I'm gonna, they're holding. I'm gonna take Jack's hand and drag him out. Oh. And we're just gonna they're we're just going gonna on each corner of the apron. Which one are you no, we're just gonna trying run. to get by? There's one on each corner. You can't run anywhere. Uh, uh, Jack is like there's no. one on each side. Uh um, no. to, yeah. Which one's the smallest? 
<laughs> the one with the black and green that's eating a kendo stick later uh, earlier in the evening. So you've got um, one that's uh so you've got the smallest one is the black neon green biohazard symbol. Okay. Then uh on the so that's on the one furthest from the the ramp. All right. On the corner, I guess on the upper corner, you've got one that's a little bit bigger than the black one. They're just in red. They have like their hockey mask is red and has like a design like it's broken, but it's not. Then, uh, then you've got the big one, Mayhem, that looks like it's made of caution tape. And then you've got uh, another one that's just wearing, like, gray, and their uh, their hockey mask is, like, this smoky gray color with flames on it. Well, I They're know slightly Jack smaller than... Okay. How are you uh, reacting? Jack is going to, like, you know, Peter grabs his hand to, like... Um, you know, run away with him. Uh, but Jack is like, no, so, let go. Actually, uh, I have a thing that might change your thing. Oh, please. Oh, this is so. I I have a fun question. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't allow fun after. On I'm sorry. Uh, right. After uh, getting my want, uh -huh. I changed it to beat up the Harbinger's valet. Okay. With the idea being that uh, El Chupacabra would just lurk by the fucking breakers, with the okay. with the idea being that when the harbingers show up next time, the valet is going to be there and kill the lights. Right. Uh huh. So El Chupacabra's by the breakers, waiting to waiting to beat up the valet. Yeah. But the valet is not here. Yeah, the lights. But there's stuff going down. The sound, they just walked out. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> a chupa cover just click. <laughs> Cut the lights. <laughs> and the, lights the, lights. Are, the lights go out. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, lights Vegas go out. Like, well, uh, <laughs> um, Vegas is like, well, maybe we should run. Uh, Vegas like, is like, hey, yeah. I didn't say well, cut the lights. Can't. What the? Now we. Well, it, oh, the lights are maybe, out. Yeah, yeah, maybe you we hear can a, slide past. I'm gonna tackle them. somebody. Oh, you yeah, got to tackle? I'm going to tackle somebody. Well, then, that, I guess that, that's that's what Vegas is. Vegas is just going to, like, they're on the apron, right? Uh, yeah, there's one on each one on each apron. So Vegas and is one on the ramp. Run at the big one and just barrel into him while he's on the apron and just hopefully just launch him. Okay, uh, let's see. That's uh, mm -hmm. stiff. We're, we're stiff for me because I know you're yeah. not holding back from this joker. I'm gonna use momentum. Okay. I'm gonna use three momentum. Okay. Make that a ten. Yeah. So you uh yeah, where'd it go? Fuck. Okay, there it is. Okay, yeah. Pick two from the seven and nine list. Uh there is, is no it match, in, but is an injury or like you know, hurt my opponent. Is that that's one, right? Yeah, you yeah, you injure your opponent. The match is booked to end in a no contest. There's no match. Your opponent loses one audience, so you gain one. Yeah, that too. Okay, so you gain an audience, and uh, you take down Mayhem. So yeah, are you doing right. anything besides cutting the lights? Are you, like, running to the ring, or...? Uh, probably running yeah. to the ring. Um, okay, because, yeah, I eventually... I uh, was hoping that they would have a valet to just, to just man yeah, handle, it's... but <laughs> no, it seems like it's yeah. just them. Uh, but you said someone was on the uh, ramp. Yeah, right? there's one on the ramp, and uh, a tech gets the lights back on as you're running out. And you see uh, Mayhem lying on the ground. Peter, what do you do? Um, I will. Before the, the lights one, cut on. There's one in a red patch, right? Yeah, the yeah, it's red okay, and it was if, broken. It's slightly. If Jack's it, going after the... Mayhem, I'll go after the one in the red mask. Ruckus is their name. Ruckus. Yep. Yes. I want to say they have their like their names like written across their belt buckles or something. Not engraved, spray painted. Nice. Or painted because it sounds cool. Yeah. I'll sort of try to knock them into the ground. Okay. Sort of tackle them off. That's going to be 
You can either use it with wrestling or you can work real stiff. I'll let you pick. I would love to use wrestling because my work real stiff is not good. Okay. So, yeah, you're using your flair. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. So, what uh, a move. So, yeah, I'm just going to, yeah, you gain one momentum and you, you kick him into the, like, you kick him off into the barricade. Ooh, it's gonna hurt. But uh, yeah, he he falls. They get up and they just like sort of beat their chest and like jokes oh. on you. I'm into that shit. <laughs> oh, what a bunch of what a bunch of perverts. Okay, what now a bunch uh, of perverts. So yeah, and I feel like uh, it just devolves into an all-out brawl. Yay. I feel like. <laughs> Yeah, everybody is scrapping and scrounging. And uh no, this was a little bit of a shorter episode tonight, but But it was fun. this is this is like hey, a good spot a, to like huh? Can we have a moment? You can have a moment if you want to after it. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, uh, you can, with the, the way you've been rolling, I will let you each tell me how you stand tall tonight. Well, uh this it's not about this. Or what you do. Okay. This is something that I've been, I've been talking about for a while. Uh, uh, this is kind of like after the show. And like, okay, yeah, you know. So it, yeah, it ends with you like. But like, you know yeah. how cameras are always rolling. Yeah. But like maybe Jack Vegas and Peter don't know it's rolling. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you know, Jack Vegas is going to confront Peter in the locker room. And he'd be like, I don't know what you're trying to pull here. You know, you you don't you don't get one up on me. I don't appreciate that. Win in the night, beat me like that, making me look like a loser in front of everybody, and then trying to pull me away, make me run away like a coward. Makes you run away like a coward. You know you couldn't have taken them if if El Chupacabra hadn't cut the goddamn lights. You're not a good fighter, Jack. You're not as good a fighter as you think you are. Yeah, well, you're not as good of a... Anything that you think you are. You haven't won a match in two years. <laughs> I don't win because I don't want to win. What do, you, what do you want out of this, then? Huh? What is your goal? My goal is to have as much fun as possible. And that's it. And I, I guarantee have... I'm getting exactly the amount of fun that I want. Ooh. <laughs> oh, what does that mean? It means you are a delight to tease. Oh. Uh, of course, the cameras are rolling. Uh, yeah, it's I don't know like why a sort of after, after show thing. Uh, God, I can't that work exclusive. Yeah, network exclusive. Uh, like I, I, don't, I don't know how you're going to feel about this one, uh, Lizzie, but, you know, Jack Vegas has been wrestling with some things in his head, right? Call me when you figure it out, Jack. Oh, shit. Just like Iceman to Maverick and Top Gun. <laughs> you, you figured it and, out yet? Uh, Peter's going to sort of, like, push off the locker and try to walk away. Jack is going to stop him. And then he's going to grab Peter and then he's going to kiss him. That's right. And he pushes him away. Peter's going to grab him by the shirt. And then that's probably where they're going to cut off. Yeah, okay. So uh, what I do want you to do, uh, I want... Let's see. Since Jack's technically initiated, I want you to uh, work the audience for me here. Ooh. So just roll plus audience, and I'll yeah. we'll see how this goes. I'm thinking this might shift Jack Vegas from a heel maybe to a tweener. It's either going to shift you to... Well, depending on gonna, who our big audience gonna, is. It's, well, we'll see what happens cause, from rolling with this, because it could either turn you or it could turn Peter. Ooh, turn Peter into a bad boy? <laughs> I'm I'm toying with it, but oh yeah, I like I like Bad Boy Peter. We'll see which one. 
This is it gonna be like uh uh Spider Man three? Or is it gonna be like Yeah. Uh let's, let's see. see. What... what do you want me to do here? It's a uh, it's gonna be plus role plus audience. Down right. your little audience. I see, I got it. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so uh yeah, let's see. Uh you can either uh, spend one momentum to gain one heat with, well, oh, there's gonna be heat, Peter, or you can uh, <laughs> just gain one momentum. I want to gain a gain a momentum. Okay, I think no, uh, yeah. No, Peter, I want you to roll audience too. Uh, all yeah. right. See how they feel about your end of this. Yeah. All right. They're into it. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah they're into it. So I figure since you wrote, since they both rolled high, I, if you don't want to, if neither of you want to change roles, it stays the same. Like they don't know what's going on, but they're kind of into it. Yeah, like <laughs> you know the fan the the fan fiction's gonna be going wild. <laughs> yeah, the the Jack Vegas Peter Boss ships, uh, you know shippers are finally being validated. I mean, Peter's canonically really big on Tumblr. We said that yeah, in episode and, uh, one. Oh yeah, and yeah. Uh, I did not mention this, but uh, I forgot to. But um, I think uh, the uh, the red one that uh, that Peter kicked down mm -hmm. was holding the uh, the TV championship. Oh, and the guy in gold was holding the heavyweight title. Oh, uh -oh. so they got and, hog wild and and uh, just for good measure. We're going to say that, uh, let's say the black and green one and the gray one were holding the tag titles. Oh, and Jack Vegas' jacket. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the other one's got the jacket. You got the, the jacket. And the shirt. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, yeah. that's, uh, that's, yeah, that's it, where yeah. the, that's where the credits roll. So, yeah, I, I like this. I think it was, I think a long time coming that was a fun episode i love that little twist you threw at me at the end yeah we've been talking about it for a while i think i want to move vegas into like a tweener role for now yeah like he can, uh, he's wrestling right with this can use, i think right now you can use uh i'll say you can use heel moves you're still a heel mechanically but you're but gonna like, hear a couple of cheers but the crowd's like come out. wow we like gay people <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna yeah, you're gonna get some you're gonna get a bit of a mixed reaction. Like you still yeah. play like a heel, but there's gonna be some cheers mixed in from now on and do with that Twitter's what you're gonna want blow to. up tonight though. I mean the, yeah, yeah, social like, media is trendy. B A E is gone woke. Hashtag what happens in Vegas. Yeah, well, <laughs> well <laughs> doesn't always stay in Vegas. Vegas. What happens in Vegas in Peter stays in Vegas. In Vegas, <laughs> yeah, that that sounds like long term monogamy is what you're yeah. 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 That's right. Well, that was Everybody's a lot of getting fun. Their dice blown. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my one. That was my one crack. I'm done. Boy, oh boy. Ah, I wish you could have heard that because at the time I said that, you hear my wife on the couch goes, "Man." <laughs> Oh, well, that was a lot of fun. That's it for me. That was great. <laughs> I this I is... like wrestling. I like I love this uh, game. I love I love this game. I like cutting wrestling promos. Uh, yeah, I like. I love cutting promos. So... Yeah, yeah, that was a whole lot of fun. I like throwing curveballs and being. Yes, being the but one who uh, messes things up because that's. My job. Yeah, well, we got a big store invasion storyline going on, which is always great. It always ends yeah. up well in wrestling. Everyone loves a good invasion storyline. It's never gone wrong. I mean, it, when it goes right, it goes right. When it goes wrong, absolutely, it goes terribly wrong. We yeah. Um, but but uh, to, that is it for tonight. I think I don't think we have anything on Monday. I don't, do we? Yeah. I don't uh, know. No, because we just did Dungeon Yeah, we just did Um So, I, hopefully next Friday we'll have in our Kids on Brooms, a Harry Potter alternative, uh, you know, uh, world, yeah. the Aetherium. 
uh magical kids uh and all that fun stuff uh magical kids magical flash hey does no mention reset at every episode uh it looks like it's supposed to but i think it's up to lizzie i really. think uh momentum you can uh you know like let's say momentum you can reset audience no okay because cool. the audience are going to keep through this through the storyline cool 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 yeah um, to i'm gonna roll a uh well i would basically flip a coin because i can't decide between doing something because it'd be amazing and doing something that would just be practical uh so on a one i do something practical and on two i do something that's uh not not practical for your advice right. sir that's for the advance uh so uh that that kid is now my valet (laughs) i mean how old is this kid i i think like eight or nine (laughs) okay like young enough that like when the kid has a shot like a shot glass of tequila everyone that has like this visceral reaction of like (laughs) yeah just toss your duffel bag hey hold this kid (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah. God, like, yeah. 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 I, I love this. Uh, we love child labor on reroll. I love child labor on reroll. They yearn for the mines. They do. It's fine. Let's um, just say it's let's just say it's uh it's secretly freaking I don't know, Bill Bertram's grandson or something. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Um, is there anything you want to plug, Hiromi, since you're on here? Is there anything that you would like to get out there into the e- into the ether? I don't think I have anything that's on uh, crowdfunding or anything like that right now. Um, uh, Scion Once in Future is on uh, Drive Through RPG, and it just got knocked out of the number one spot after Ooh. being there for like two weeks and beating out um, uh, Critical Role's uh, latest game. So, like, that's pretty. That's a pretty get big it, deal. If you could get us back ahead of Critical Role, that'd be cool. Uh, I'll throw the link at the uh, thing. Sorry, that that's Onyx Path, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's their Story Path system, which I played, and it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, go check it out. All Onyx Path stuff has amazing lore and stuff like that. You you won't be disappointed. Um, and yeah. Uh, oh, and also, RB, would you like to plug something? No, I just realized I was supposed to gain one more audience for wrestling. You know? shit. Oh, uh, we'll get another. Go ahead, do it. Okay, cool. I'm um, supposed to gain an advance then. Uh, oh, do oh, I get an advance? Okay, so you uh, and then I reset to plus one momentum. Okay, so uh, you uh, okay, so you gained enough audience to advance. Uh-huh. You can and change playbooks if you want to. I don't want to change playbooks. I like okay. being a jobber. Okay, I like job security. Advance. Okay, I'm just giving you the <laughs> option. Security. I'm giving you the option. You're fine. That's the real power fantasy. Okay. <laughs> no one you can, but not uh, having to. I'm on a podcast Ooh. called Dark Estates. Uh, I think we just finished up the first arc of season two, where I play a werewolf knight character named Winona, who is very impulsive and puts things in her mouth. Ooh, I wonder why I would care play characters who's impulsive and puts things in their mouth. Uh, I can't think of a reason why. Uh, but yeah, it, it's it's about the apocalypse. It's about uh, eldritch gods and what happens when they give a bunch of Grecian teenagers power. So so go listen to it. It's on podcast yeah, apps. Everywhere. It's on. It's on. It's everywhere. 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 On Spotify, I think, too. On Spotify. Um, so, yeah. Um, and, of course, next uh, Ethereum, and then it's going to be uh, Pathfinder 2E. We're doing uh, the Gatewalkers next week. Hopefully, I don't know. We'll see. Or actually, no. I don't think, actually. I think that it's... To, do not listen to me, ever. But that's it for tonight, everybody. I think we're going to go ahead and close out the we'll stuff here. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. 
we're getting back on track, getting all our shows yeah. and stuff in order. Uh, but consistency is going to happen soon. So we'll see you hopefully on Friday. All right, let me get James. Let James know he can close us out. Ba, ba, ba. Boy, ba, oh boy. Ba. Uh.